Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star Ken. Welcome back to Last and Earth Survival. So finally, season 20 is out. So let's go. Let's check out what this season is about. So check this out. We can go to this calendar and we can start getting daily bonuses. So without any further ado, let's get this one katana. Then we have this weekend's rush laboratory. So we've already had some sort of an event like that. It looks like you can use your scars to do 50% more damage at that laboratory. Then you'll be able to get these marks of excellence points. And then you can exchange those points for these crates. But hey, that's not it. We've also gotten a third event, which is arena event. Sadly, it's gonna last only for three days and 14 hours. But hey, check this out. We can get two files with rare blueprints. So that means we can get two purple blueprints. And that's what I'm gonna be focusing on today. And in the coming days, we are gonna get this fishing tournament event where we can get more of those marks of excellence points. And then there's this community event where we can get a VSS, some carbon composites and more marks of excellence points. And that's not it. We also have our good old season pass. We can get this college skin. Then just as always, we get some basic rewards just as we always get during every season pass. It's awesome that on level nine, we can get this tactical backpack. Then obviously we're getting some coins, some other simple items, nothing really too special. On level 23, you can get this gas cylinder for free, which is really awesome to see here. Also on level 30, we're getting another decoration, this wind vane. Obviously it's gonna do nothing. It's just gonna be a decoration and going further, we don't see anything super unique. Check this out if I'm not mistaken and you can get these chopper parts here. So if you still don't have your chopper gas tank, you can get it over here on level 51 and on level 56, you can get your ATV transmission. But for that, you have to have a premium pass, sadly. And yeah, at the very end, we have one more skin, which is the samurai chopper skin, which I think looks kind of cool. I'd love to get it. And I am already preparing to go to that arena event. Check this out. I brought with me a couple of katanas. I brought with me a couple of guns, some first aid kits. So check this out. That's where this arena event is located. Say, so let's go there. I have no idea what to expect in this event. So let's leave the chopper and let's see what this thing is all about. All right, there's Carl. Uh, hello, Carl. Okay, so we can kill gnarly Billy level one and weaknesses is VSS. Full set of Raiders armor decreases damage by 15%. Okay, so that's kind of cool. We've gotten some new mechanics. We've never seen that thing in the past. Then we can kill uh, Feral Jesse. Genesis weapons deal 30% more damage and full Kevlar armor decreases damage by 10% and full SWAT set decreases damage by 10% and AK deals 50 percent more damage and we have to kill lucy luck let's probably kill that lucy luck wait i just want to run around this place maybe we can find something new okay i can enter this place all right so it looks like we've maybe had something like this in the past but it looks a bit different the mechanics are a bit different i, I kind of like it again i'm just sad that this event is gonna last only for three days i think this arena event should be definitely lasting for at least a week but hey whatever i have the full SWAT armor i have the ak so let's go to battle uh, the guy doesn't even say anything why doesn't he want to talk to me whatever let's go here and i'm gonna start using ak's on this oh no i've just chosen the gnarly billy I've chosen the wrong guy. Well, I can use the VSS because that's what's up. I'm pretty certain we can deal with this guy quite easily. I thought I've chosen the Lucy Luck. Oops. The guy started spitting. If I'm not mistaken, he's vulnerable to the VSS. So let's go. Let's deal with the gnarly Billy. Dealt with him. We've gotten 250 points towards our season pass, which is kind of a lot of points. Say, so let's get that and let's go back and let's talk to him. What do we have to do to deal with another boss? Oh, you just get level two boss and that's it. Well, I want to go and try to fight uh, Lucy Luck. Let's go here. Wait, and when I go to the calendar, I go to arena event. Oh, check this out. We can already get these springs. Kind of cool. Let's go. Let's get the springs. So maybe you don't have to wait for the things to reset. Maybe you can reach that level 15. Oops. Maybe you can reach that level 15 with this Carl in one day. Maybe that's how it works. Let's get the AK. And let's go. Let's try to fight that Lucy Luck with the AK that we got here. She only does four damage. Maybe uh, every time she attacks us. Nope. The damage does not stack up. All right. So let's deal with Lucy Luck. Maybe even in one day, we're going to get those purple blueprints. Maybe. Check this out. Another 250 points. Kind of cool. Let's go to the season pass. Let's take these rewards. Three extra reanimators, which is kind of cool to get them for free on level four. We could fight Lucy Luck once again. I guess let's probably keep doing it because I have the SWAT armor so we get less damage from her and I brought with me a couple of AKs. So I think we can keep fighting that Lucy Luck. Okay, so this time she started spawning some bloody chasers. All right, understandable. Have a nice day. Again, I don't even think you have to waste guns on these events. But hey, I'm pretty certain I'm going to try to do these events on my free-to-play account quite soon. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see how it's like to do them. Will I be using guns? Will we be using melee weapons? I have no idea. 
is it even worth it to waste guns on this event? Probably, as I said, you can get, if you're planning to do it fully, it's definitely gonna be worth it to get those uh, two files with rare blueprints. Also, some people might need even five of those carbon composites. So you know what? I'm Probably it's worth it. Let's go. Let's try to fight Lucy once again. Level three Lucy. Also, each of them can get to level five. I get it. Check this out. There are five skulls. And once this Lucy Lock reaches level five, that's it. It's going to be it. So each of them are going to be up to level five. I get it. And that's how you reach level 15 in the season pass there in that arena event. All right. I get it. How much damage does she do now? Five. All right. More of those bloody chasers are spawning in. Let's heal up. Maybe we don't even have to use the AK. Probably she has a lot of defense. Wait, just for the sake of education, I quickly want to get this katana. Check this out. We're doing only 16 damage to her. So, yeah, with melee weapons, it's going to be a bit tricky. It is going to be a bit, a bit tricky. Okay, I got stunned. That's not cool. Uh, let's deal with those bloody chasers. Uh, that's it. Let's pop the Lucy Luck. We've gotten 250 points here once again. And my character has started stinking. That's not cool. That's not appreciated. All right. So let's talk to Carl here once again. Let's go to the last fight. Is it going to be level four or level five? I have no idea. In any case, let's go there. Let's get probably another AK. And let's deal with her here like that. Once we're going to hop to the free-to-play account, then I'm going to try to find more maybe efficient ways on how to fight her. But yeah, it's gonna be hard. Like, you, there's no way you'll be able to deal with all of them here with melee weapons. Like, especially here on level 4. All of them had their 100 health. She also has more defense. We used to do, like, 13 damage. Now we do only 12 damage. So yeah, she definitely gets a lot, a lot stronger. She still does only 7 damage. She kind of stunned me, which is not that big of a deal. Here go, we dealt with the Lucy Luck. And there are a couple of those bloody chasers. So let's deal with those bloody chasers. Let's get the katana. And that's it. Another level done. We can go to the season pass and check this out. We are already at level nine. Wow. So if you have a few guns, you can definitely do this event <laughs> quite easily. Wait, let's go to calendar. Let's go to arena. And uh, we can already get two more rewards. Let's get that. Let's go and let's fight Lucy Luck. So that's going to be the last battle, right? Level five battle. And I'm out of AKs. Oh, uh, Okay. I should have brought more AKs with me. Well, I do have a couple of AKs in the inbox. I don't really know if they're fully modded or not. What kind of mods we have on them? Hopefully these are not silencers. Now these are silencers. These AKs are going to be missing like crazy. <laughs> Whatever. Let's get a VSS and the uh, M16 as well. Let's go. Let's try to fight her here with this AK. Which is going to start missing. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this AK at all. Well, I'm gonna use the M16 on these bloody chasers. And yeah, chances are we might die. Okay, we're doing only five damage with that weapon. We're missing so much, dude. You gotta be kidding me. This AK is useless. This AK is terrible. Look how often we miss. Maybe it's better to just use the M16. Yeah, this thing is gonna be uh, much harder. Well, I'll keep switching between both of these guns. Occasionally, yeah, yeah, that's, that's gotta be terrible. Oops, no! Yikes, 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 heal, heal, heal. Okay, so we gotta keep distance from her. We always gotta keep our distance. They do so much damage. Okay, let's shred these all bloody chasers. Got them. All right, she released some sort of gas. Maybe unmodded AK would do even better damage than this modded AK. I think so. That's just my wild guess. My speculation. All right, gotta keep moving so that I don't get stunned by her. Okay, that AK just broke. Okay, this thing is gonna... Okay, let's deal with the with the guy. Let's get a VSS, probably. Maybe VSS will be even better here. Whatever, let's break this AK fully. And yeah, then I'll have to get back to the base to get some more guns. So yeah, this event will definitely drain some of your weapons. But if you've been doing Bunker Alpha, as I've been telling you to do, then you should have enough weapons. No problem. That's what I think. All right, let's deal with these bloody chasers real quick. Bam, got him. Let's go on auto. Let's get more first aid kits and probably another Uzi. What is that? Is she dead? That's it. We can deal with Lucy. That's it. We have dealt with level five Lucy. Can I stand up? We cannot stand on these spits. Those spits definitely do some damage. But hey, that's it. I can go and talk to him. That's it. We cannot deal with her anymore. We've reached level five. So now we can keep fighting that 
gnarly Billy. Let's bring some more VSSs from the base and let's fight that gnarly Billy. And for Feral Jesse, I think we can bring Genesis weapons. Yeah, let's do that. Say so we're back here with all the weapons. Let's talk to Carl once again and probably we're gonna start fighting that gnarly Billy. Also, check this out. I brought these special armors because they're just lying at the base and collecting dust, so I might as well just use it. But hey, first of all, let's break the SWAT armor. I brought with me some more VSSs, so let's fight this gnarly Billy, and that's it. And at the same time here, you'll be able to see what kind of special attacks these bosses do, because I'm pretty certain all of us have the same bosses, unless... All of us are gonna have different bosses and then that's gonna be kind of weird. And also doing maybe the first like few levels, like fighting that gnarly Billy uh, level one, level two, I think it's maybe gonna be doable to fight him with your katana. I mean, check this out. It doesn't really look like he spawns anybody. All we have to- Oh no! He started spitting on you. That's terrible, that's terrible. Wait, does he spit on you now all the time? I don't understand what's up with that. Is he gonna do that constantly now? No, he doesn't do that constantly. He only has that some sort of special attack. So yeah, I think you could maybe fight him. Maybe he only spits once you get very up close with him. Maybe that's when he does that. Okay, is he gonna spit again? Can I go back here to the top? He kind of healed up a little bit. So yeah, you could probably fight him. Like level 2 Gnarly Billy. Or level 1 Gnarly Billy. I have no idea. Alright, am I gonna dodge this? Yes, I kind of was able to dodge this. He does heal up a lot! I'm gonna let him to come back here. Yeah, probably it's easier to fight him with guns. No, my character wants to go to the toilet! You gotta be kidding me. I shouldn't have drank that water at the base. I knew it! Well, whatever. I'm gonna quickly fight him here with these VSSs. But yeah, on the free-to-play account, definitely we'll be able to fight that gnarly Billy. At least level 1 gnarly Billy with melee weapons. Like, I think you can kill all of these bosses at level 1 with melee weapons quite easily. So yeah, I'm gonna pee somewhere here. So yeah, check this out. We are already at level 11 in the season pass, which is... Kind of crazy to say, but hey, let's go to Carl and let's go. Let's fight level three gnarly Billy. Uh, let's start shooting him. He is a bit slow, but hey, this time he spawns lots of those smaller zombies. So probably fighting level three Billy. Oh wow, he spawns these parasites. Okay, these parasites are just gonna explode. I'll obviously have to get some brand new armor. Okay, before these parasites stun. I don't even want to know what those parasites do, honestly. I'm gonna get the VSS. Oh no. When I- when he spits on me, do I lose my armor? Maybe not really. Maybe not really. Maybe you can still even fight him with your... Weapons here? I have no idea. Well, all you have to do is just run through these explosive guys and that's it. I'm still curious. They do 50 damage, it says. Can you damage him? Does he get damage from these explosive schmucks? Did he get that? I don't think so. That would be maybe cool if you could explode these guys on the gnarly billy. Here, I'm gonna wait until they spawn once again. And I wanna see if it's possible to explode them. Check this out. Does he get any damage? No, he does not get any damage, sadly. Absolutely zero damage. So yeah, they don't affect him. They do not affect him. Yeah, you just let them explode. Run past them. I don't wanna find out what they do if they explode you. Maybe you just get 50 damage. Maybe you get stunned. Or maybe you instantly die. In any case, I don't wanna know that. And yeah, be careful. There is no point in shooting them. You don't need to shoot these parasites. You just run- Oh no, you just do 20 You just get 20 damage from them. I mean with this- With this armor. Obviously, worse armor will protect you less and you'll get more damage. But it doesn't matter. So yeah, Gnarly Billy, I would say, probably is easier. The, the Lucy Luck. But hey, let's go to the level 4 boss fight. Let's fight him here again. But hey, using katanas would be pretty hard. I'm telling you, using katanas or your melee weapons on this gnarly billy would take kind of forever and a little bit. Also, this VSS does only 30 damage, so I can only imagine how much damage we can do with other guns. I mean, wait, I want to quickly check this out. I want to quickly get this Uzi. We're doing 5 damage with the Uzi. Yeah, I'll, yeah. We don't do a lot of damage. We're not doing a lot of damage. Let's get back my VSS. Another broken VSS. He's standing there and healing up. Well, at least he's not healing like crazy, you know? He's healing only a little by little. Okay, I'm gonna let him come closer. Once again, gonna explode all of these parasites. So yeah, I wouldn't say that these parasites are very dangerous. They're way easier to deal with than those uh, crawlers that were spawning with Lucy Luck. So all you have to do is just keep dam damaging him quite a lot because he does heal up and he doesn't really want to follow you that often. You can still be more 
patient with how you fight that gnarly Billy. You could be kind of dodging him through his spits so that he doesn't heal up on those spits. You could definitely do this even a bit a bit smarter to save like what? One shot from your clock and one extra healing item. But hey, you got the point on how to fight that gnarly Billy. Let's get another VSS and let's go. Let's fight gnarly Billy level five. So yeah, I, I don't see how would be fighting with melee weapons as he does have a lot of defense. And plus, these parasites keep spawning all the time. So check this out. We do this. We also get stuck from this gnarly Billy. Yikes. Yikes! Stop spitting like this! That is crazy. Look at these large spits. So why don't I just go there? And I'll wait for him. All right, let's go. Let's try to fight him again. He does spit quite often. Yeah, you, you will need your ranged weapons. Because fighting with melee weapons will take you probably here forever. Maybe try to explode them in one space. Like, try to leave some ground for you to, to run around. Don't try to explode them all over the map. Maybe try to explode them somewhere in in the lower corner, for example. Maybe that's going to help out. Again, I don't think you have to use this uh, battle armor, like whatever it's called, the raider's armor. You definitely don't have to match the armor. As I don't really think it matters. You can take whatever armor you want, as he doesn't really do that much damage anyways. We only get like 9 damage. Probably from other armor, we'd be getting like maybe 12 damage or something. So it doesn't really matter. So let's deal with that gnarly Billy here. Go, we fought him. We got 250 extra points towards our season pass. Let's deal with all of those schmucks. Here go, they have exploded. Bam, done. I still think it is quite possible to kill him with melee weapons, but that would take a lot of time. Probably maybe more healing items. Yeah, that, that would be pretty tough. That would be pretty tough. So you'd have higher chances to die there fighting that boss. But hey, whatever, let's go. Let's fight Feral Jesse now. We're going to use Genesis weapons as we do 30% more damage. I'm still probably going to use this armor. Let's try to get this ultimatum. And once again, I want to get this katana just to see how much damage we can do. Again, for those who don't know where to get those Genesis weapons, you have to do laboratory. And in the laboratory, you can get those Genesis weapons. So I am ready. Let's eat some jerky. Let's get that katana. And I've never even fought him before. Ooh, that's the big boss. Oh, no. He already spawns these big guys. He already spawns them. He starts eating them. What is going on? He eats that guy and he heals up. Well, at least we're doing 101 damage with this. With this sniper rifle. With this ultimatum. How much damage would I be doing with my katana? 15 damage. That's... Um, not the coolest, not the coolest thing ever. Okay, let's try to fight him again. Obviously, he's gonna start. He wants to eat them, so probably have to go and kill them first before he starts eating them. That's what you gotta do, because apparently if he's, he can attack them first and start eating them. I think that's what he does. But, yeah, it is still quite doable. You can probably kill him with your melee weapons. As I said, level one enemies here are quite easy. Here go, we got him. Let's go probably to our calendar, to our arena. And uh, let's get our rewards. So check this out. We already killed 11 bosses. At 13 bosses, we're going to get those marks of excellence points. And at 15 bosses, we'll get that those two purple blueprints. So let's get that. I'm pretty certain now this katana isn't going to be as good. All right. We got to quickly deal with those bloody chasers. Before he starts eating them. He's going to start eating them, that schmuck. So you should be having guns here probably. So, yeah, I'm going to start using my ultimatum on him. I'm going to get probably another gun. And soon my armor is going to break. He already does quite a lot of damage, even even with this battle armor. It's not battle armor, it's the raider's armor. That's it. We dealt with Feral Jesse again quite easy once we have this ultimatum. Let's go probably to one more fight. Let's go level 3 Jesse. So, I think you can still probably kill level 2 Jesse with melee weapons. Just probably have some different weapons for these guys. So that he doesn't heal up from them quite fast. Okay, go. Let's deal with them. And there's that bloody chaser. Okay, I lost my armor. Let's quickly get that Kevlar armor. We're getting only 9 damage. And we are doing a lot of damage with this set. With this armor. What's going on on my head? There's something shiny here. We've never had that thing before. Maybe it's like some sort of a glitch. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'm going to quickly deal with these bloody chasers before he starts. No, no, no. He started eating them. Schmuck! I should have killed him first. I should have killed him first. Well, he didn't heal up that much, so it's not terrible. It's not like he restores his health fully. So we dealt with this boss. Uh, let's go and let's fight one more Feral Jesse. Level 4 Feral Jesse. Maybe we're even going to get get the VSS. VSS usually does 58 damage. So let's see how much damage we're going to do to him with that VSS. So we are doing 19 damage with the VSS. Wow. That is pretty low. 
That is disgustingly low. Wait, let's quickly deal with these all bloody chasers. All right, he already started healing up. He's already back at full health. All right, so we definitely have to start spamming him more often. She said this VSS does less damage than this pistol. Wow. Wow, like literally triple wow. Whatever, he's only at 400 health. I'm pretty certain some more of those other guys are going to spawn quite soon. So yeah, it is going to be fun. Like, I don't really know what much to say. It's going to be really hard to deal with those bosses if you don't have, like, these Genesis weapons or just guns in general. If you're not going to have, like, whatever guns to do level 5 bosses, it is going to be really hard to get those purple blueprints. But if you have these weapons, it's going to be 100% worth it to use those weapons to reach level 5. I'm still going to try to fight these bosses on my free-to-play account. We have a couple of weapons, so maybe we will be able to kill all of these bosses and reach level 5 with all of them. Say, so let's get this guy. Boom, let's start another battle. I'm probably going to get this equalizer. And let's go in. So again, it doesn't really seem like it's pretty hard. All right, let's quickly deal with those bloody chasers. Again, he can probably heal up a little bit. It's all right. It's all right. I'm going to allow that can definitely go and heal up. So we do miss a little bit with those weapons. This, these pistols are insane. We're doing still 27 damage with this pistol. Maybe you will have to go and clear the laboratory to get some of these Genesis weapons, but it's not that cheap to clear the laboratory. It is going to be really hard to reach level 5. It's not It's not easy. That's all I know. Oh, wow! He's going to do this attack. I'm pretty certain if he does that, if he does that special attack, you're going to die. So be very careful. Be very careful. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa! Is he gonna do it again? Nope, he stopped doing that special attack. I'm pretty certain if he's gonna run over you with that special attack, you would die with one shot, so I, I'm not even gonna try that. But I, I think we have killed Jesse level five. I think that's it, we've killed all of them. That's it, all of them are dead. That is awesome. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is awesome. So we have reached level, which one? Level 18, so you reach level 18 once you kill all of these bosses at level five. Let's go to arena event. Let's get all of these rewards. Now let's open up 10 of those boxes with those marks of excellence. I'm gonna choose here first aid kits. Uh, here I'm gonna choose a sickle. Here go, let's open up one more box. We're gonna get, I don't know, absolute garbage. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna get the black paint. Uh, here we can get a grenade launcher, which is kinda cool. I also know that getting this gas cylinder is insane, super valuable especially to those who still don't have their ATV. But I have the ATV. I already probably have over 30 extra gas cylinders. So I don't need that. I'm going to get my grenade launcher. But yeah, those gas cylinders are very, very worth it. Let's get that crossbow. And also that one gas cylinder is around like 24 or something else because each floor requires like eight weapons and you need to clear three floors in Bunker Bravo to get that gas cylinder. So yeah, you're, you're getting 20 plus guns from that gas cylinder basically if you need it. Say those gas cylinders are definitely worth it. All right, here, let's get a blue card. We still have a few more crates to open up. Inside of this crate, we can get the fish bait. Inside of this crate, we can get absolutely nothing. I mean, I can get these explosive materials. I usually get them because sometimes I craft a C4, which is kind of useless, but it's kind of fun to craft it once in a while. I'm going to get here titanium bars. But yeah, anything else that we could get? Uh, white paint. Whatever, let's get that white paint into the inbox and that's it. We are done with opening up these boxes. And now let's try to open up these files with rare blueprints. Let's go to the inbox and let's open that stuff up. Let's see what we're going to get. Anything useful. We've gotten a Glock blueprint, Elite Shotter, which I already have. I think I have all of these blueprints. I haven't gotten anything useful. So yeah, we had all of these blueprints. Anything else? A machete blueprint. No, we've gotten Slugger with Thorns, which I already have. We have this bone handle and I have the side times eight. And I had all of these blueprints. So sadly, I've gotten absolutely nothing. But again, on my free-to-play account, I'm pretty certain all of these mods would be kind of cool, especially this Elite Shotter. I still think it was worth it. Like seriously, if you had, if you had the guns to fight these bosses, this arena was 100% worth it. So I highly suggest you checking out my Dying Light 2 Let's Play. Click on the second card and you'll go to my another Last Dinner Survival video. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at fisyric mm -hmm. yep